This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group, and weakness in the market today really uh, there from the get-go based on some of the economic reports that we saw. Number one, the trade deficit, highest number we've seen in over 10 years, 19% increase in the month of December, and for the entire year, the trade deficit hit $621 billion. On top of that, we saw beige book numbers come out, which showed continued weakness in the economy. Much of it was due to the government shutdown, but still continued weakness. So the combination of both of those reports really put some pressure on the market today. We saw healthcare stocks, energy also lead the markets down lower during the day today. Still, we're on good pace from the beginning of the year here, still up very, very nicely, but there is some near-term concern here, and we're seeing volatility on the rise a little bit, that we may see continued weakness in the marketplace due to some of these economic reports. Now, also 2,800 in the S&P, that's been a very pivotal number that we've kind of breached back and forth, back and forth over the last few weeks. Can't seem to hold that, and that is definitely some, some technical resistance on the upside. Yesterday, ES options here at the CME, about 370,000 options traded, 64% on the put side. But the volume leaders were all put options. The top two, both EOW2, so end of week two, the March 2700 and 2730 puts, both traded about 8,800 contracts yesterday. And then the regular month, monthly March options, the March 2725 and March 2750 puts, both traded around 6,000 contracts. Expected move now for the S&P based on the ES mini options. This week is about $22 going out next week about $45. Bitcoin volume picking up a little bit as well as volatility. We saw volume really spike a little while ago, 10 days ago or so, when we saw Bitcoin futures head over 4,000. We saw a pullback, now they're back on the rise again. Today, over 4,000 contracts traded here as we approach 4,000 again, and the entire crypto space has grown to just over $132 billion market cap. Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.